welcome you in the lecture series of random processes detection and estimation it is 19th lecture of this series in the previous lecture we have discussed detection of deterministic signal with unknown amplitude phase frequency and uh, arrival time and we have also discussed about the concept of linear model in this lecture we will continue our discussion about the classical linear model the outline of this lecture are the classical linear model and the generalized likelihood ratio as for the classical linear model in the objective of this lecture you will able to explain why we use classical linear model in detection theory now let us start with the classical linear model as you have seen in the previous lecture if xn is equal to asn plus omega n where n is small n 0 to n minus 1 and we can write in linear model form in matrix form uh, this x uh, the matrix x is equal to h theta plus omega where the matrix h is the s node s1 to sn minus 1 transpose it, it h in matrix is known as the n is to p observation matrix and theta uh, is the phase to one vector uh, of parameters uh, means of unknown parameters uh, a is equal to a and uh, omega is the random noise and omega is the Gaussian noise with the mean 0 and covariance matrix sigma square i it is n is to 1 random noise vector let us case one example now consider two hypotheses h note that that is corresponds to xn is equal to omega n means under hypothesis h note there is only only noise and under hypothesis h1 xn is equal to a cos 2 pi f naught plus 5 plus omega n where small n is 0 to n minus 1. Now apply the linear model here I can write uh, first of all xn uh, is equal to a cos a plus b means cos a cos b minus sin a sin b so I will write xn is equal to a cos phi cos 2 pi f naught n minus a sin phi sin 2 pi f naught n plus omega n now let this a cos phi is equal to alpha and minus a sin phi is alpha 2 so i can write xn as alpha 1 cos 2 pi f naught n plus alpha 2 sin 2 pi f naught n plus omega n and so you know a square cos square phi plus a square sin square phi it will be a square or you can say it is alpha 1 square plus alpha 2 square this means a is alpha 1 is under root alpha 1 square plus alpha 2 square and clearly a is equal to 0 if and only if alpha 1 is equal to alpha 2 is equal to 0 so the hypothesis will be uh, will be like this under hypothesis h note xn is equal to a cos 2 pi f note and plus phi plus omega n with a is equal to 0 here and under hypothesis h1 xn will be a cos 2 pi f naught n plus phi plus omega n with a not equal to 0 so I can uh, also write this hypothesis as under hypothesis h naught xn will be alpha 1 cos 2 pi f naught n plus alpha 2 cos 2 pi f naught n plus omega n where alpha 1 and alpha 2 are 0 and under hypothesis h1 xn is alpha 1 cos 2 pi f naught n plus alpha 2 sin 2 pi f naught n plus omega n where alpha 1 not equal to 0 and alpha 2 not equal to 0 here and in the linear model form uh, x matrix x will be equal to h theta plus omega where h matrix h is uh, the with the component 1 cos 2 pi f naught to cos 2 pi f naught n minus 1 0 sin 2 pi f naught and uh, it is up to sin 2 pi f naught n minus 1 and uh, theta is the 
uh, vector of uh, unknown components means theta is uh, theta involves alpha 1 and alpha 2. Now the hypothesis test problem can be h naught hypothesis h naught it is corresponds to theta is equal to 0 and h1 corresponds to theta not equal to 0. So now we will discuss about GLRT for classical linear model. Let the data have the form of x is equal to h theta plus omega where h is known p is to 1 observation matrix of rank p. Theta is a p is to 1 vector of unknown parameters and uh, omega is n is to 1 noise vector with the uh, Gaussian PDF uh, with mean 0 and covariance matrix sigma square i. Now the GLRT for the hypothesis testing problem it will be under hypothesis H naught A theta is equal to B and under hypothesis H naught A theta naught equal to B. Uh, here A theta is equal to B uh, it consists a set of linear equation and we decide H1 or H naught if the test is statistic Tx is equal to log E Likely, gen, uh, generalized likelihood ratio ta, ratio g l g x is equal to matrix a theta cap minus b transpose into a into uh, matrix h transpose h inverse matrix a transpose into a theta 1 cap minus b by sigma square and it is uh, less than greater than uh, threshold value gamma dash where theta dash theta 1 dash it will be h transpose h inverse h transpose x is the maximum likelihood of theta under h1 so the detection performance can be given as the probability of false alarm it will be the two function with x r square uh, gamma dash and probability of detection it will be 2xr dash square lambda gamma dash and where lambda is the matrix a theta 1 minus b transpose a h transpose h inverse a transpose uh, and inverse of this matrix into a theta minus b by sigma square consider example let two, uh, two hypotheses H0 uh, corresponds to Xn is equal to omega n means under hypothesis H0 the only noise is present there is no signal no signal here and under hypothesis H1 Xn is corresponds to A Sn plus omega n and in the form of a linear model form I can write it as matrix X is equal to H theta plus omega and you have to find the probability of detection the performance of uh, this linear detector so here the hypothesis may be uh, you can consider under hypothesis h naught xn is equal to a sn plus omega n with a is equal to 0 here so this part will be 0 in this case so you will have only the noise under hypothesis h1 h naught and under hypothesis h1 xn will be a sn plus omega n where a not equal to 0 here under hypothesis h1 here the matrix h is the observation matrix means s naught s1 to sn minus 1 transpose and theta is equal to unknown parameter a so i can write these two hypotheses as h no under hypothesis h naught a is equal to 0 and under hypothesis h1 a not equal to 0 and by applying the GLRT theorem we can have here you, uh, you also know here p and here r is equal to p is equal to 1 a is equal to 1 and b is equal to 0 in this case where a in these two hypothesis h0 and h1 now applying the uh, GLRT theorem we will have the test statistic Px will be theta 1 cap into h transpose h theta 1 cap divided by sigma square or I can also write it as h transpose h 
theta 1 cap square by sigma square where theta 1 cap is the unknown parameter means the estimated value of a and you know the estimated estimated value of a it is h transpose h inverse h transpose x and from the previous slides you know the estimated value of a is equal to summation n0 to n minus 1 x and s n divided by summation n0 to n minus 1 s square and this is the maximum likelihood estimated value of a and now we decide h1 or h0 if this test is statistic means summation n0 to n minus 1 x n s n whole square by sigma square summation n0 to n minus 1 s square n greater than less than threshold value gamma dash where gamma dash you know uh, from previous slide it is 2 log e gamma and the probability of false alarm it will be the q function of gamma dash and the probability of detection it will be the q function of gamma dash with x1 dash square lambda where lambda is theta 1 square h transpose h by sigma square or you can write it as a square theta 1 square means a square unknown parameter a square summation n0 to n minus 1 s square n by sigma square and this is epsilon by sigma square this is the energy of the signal so the probability of detection it will be the probability of x dash square lambda greater than threshold value gamma dash or i can write it as uh, uh, probability z square greater than gamma dash where z square is uh, x1 dash square lambda so i can write it as probability of z greater than gamma uh, under root gamma dash plus probability of z less than minus under root gamma because you are having a square part here so it can be equal to q function of under root gamma dash minus under root lambda plus 1 minus q function of minus under root gamma dash minus under root lambda and it can also be written as q function of under root gamma dash minus under root lambda plus q function of under root gamma dash plus lambda when lambda is equal to 0 probability of detection uh, probability of false arm it will be 2 q function of under root gamma dash and uh, from here the gamma dash is q inverse uh, pf by 2 so after putting the value of gamma dash uh, you will get the probability of detection it will be q function of q inverse pf by 2 minus under root epsilon by sigma square plus q function of q inverse pf by 2 plus under root epsilon by sigma square so far in this lecture we have discussed about the classical linear model in detection theory and also we have discussed generalized likelihood ratio test for classical linear model this was 19th lecture of the lecture series of random processes detection and estimation in the next lecture we will discuss about the detection of random signal instead of a deterministic signal. Till then, thanks for listening this lecture. Thank you.